DSD Hacking 101. Hello, welcome to PSP Hacking 101, Episode 6. In today's episode, we're going to be covering how to trick your firmware into thinking that it's something higher than 1.5. We're also going to be showing you how to change the wallpaper on your PSP, and we're also going to show you how to control your PC through your PSP via the Wi-Fi. Alright, first things first, we're going to show you how to fake the firmware on your PSP. And for this, we're going to be using a good little tool that uh, Yoshi and his team developed here. Um, it's pretty simple, you just move over the folders to your PSP, execute it, and then you can press um, square and it'll change your firmware to fake that it's a 2.0. Even though it's really not going to change your firmware, it's just going to look like that. So if you try and load up uh, an ISO or a, or a UMD that requires the 2.0 firmware, it'll be tricked into thinking that it's really the 2.0 when it's really just your 1.5. Uh, you can also do, they also have the 2.1 and I was just reading they're going to be releasing the one for the new 2.5 firmware so you can trick it into thinking that in case uh, the new Grand Theft Auto requires that. Alright, Pox here again and we're showing you how to change the wallpaper on your PSP. Now this is something that you can do with the 2.0 firmware, but we're going to show you how to do it with the 1.5. And by were, I mean me, Pox, because unfortunately Ragbull's out sick and I had to replace him with this stand-in. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, the program we're going to be using for this is called um, PSP Set. And the cool thing about this program is it also lets you change your firmware, like the Yoshi's tool that we were looking at earlier. And it also allows you to change all the different wallpapers for all the different months. You can even change the intro videos that go um, before you load an application uh, or video game. Uh, we don't have any of those files right now, but I'll show you real quick here. All you need is a BMP file that meets these certain res res uh, resolution requirements. We'll have those in the show notes. Uh, just name it, uh, say this is October, you name it uh, 10.bmp, throw it in the root directory of your memory stick, and you just go over here, you change it, and ta-da! You've changed the wallpaper on your PSP. Now you can always go back in and you can reset it back to its default, so there's no need to worry about messing things up permanently. And that's how you change the wallpaper on your PSP when you're running the 1.5 firmware. It's me, Pox, again. Imagine that. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, raggable. Kind of. <laughs> Anyways, uh, how to control your PC through your PSP via the Wi Fi in your PSP. The program we're going to be using for this is PVNC, which is a, a port of a Palm Pilot application. And actually, VNC is used very commonly to, to remote desktop in and use a PC from another PC from a different location. Uh, the resolution on the PSP is a, is, is a little bit lower because, you know, it's such a small screen. So you do a little bit of scrolling, but I'll show you how it's done here. It's kind of a neat little uh, tool, kind of fun to use. And uh, inadvertently, you kind of have Windows XP running on your PSP. <laughs> so the first step is you need to download the Type VNC software on your PC. Now after you run the setup file, yeah, uh, execute the server program, uh, type in a password, something simple because you're going to be using that keypad inside the PSP to type it in. Take note of the ports in case you need to log into your router and free up those ports 
or you can use port forwarding inside of your router uh, or your, your router slash access point so that you can actually use your PSP to remotely control your PC from anywhere you have an internet connection. <clears throat> After you've got the, VNC, the, the type VNC installed on your PC and running the server on it, you're going to need to download uh, the portable VNC for the PSP program. And just like all your other applications, you throw it in under the uh, directory on your memory stick, PSP, games, just throw the two folders in there. Go ahead and start up your PSP. Now you're going to need to go over to your network settings. And you're going to have to change it to the, uh, and give it a static IP because this program doesn't support DHCP yet. What that means is you're going to have to give it a number like 192.168.0.1 uh, whatever, anyways. <laughs> and then you're also going to have to set your subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and your gateway 192.168.0.1 and that's, that's usually the default for most of your routers like your Linksys and D-Link and, and whatnot. Um, it, your, yours could be different, you might need to check the manual on your access point router. Um, So after you've got that set up, you make sure you have to have your static IP set on your PSP and that connection is up and running. Then you can go over and you can launch the PVNC program. Now after you launch that, you select which network you're connecting to, in this case the one we just set up. And now you're going to have to add the computer that you're connecting to. It's pretty simple. You just need to put in the IP address. If you don't know what the IP address is, if you're running XP, you can just uh, go to your network settings and you can go to status and you can see it'll be a number similar to the 192.168.0. What, uh, something similar to that. Anyways, <laughs> put that into your PSP. Put that into your PSP. Go ahead and connect. And now it's gonna now it's gonna ask you for the password. Go ahead and put in the password that we put in earlier. And bam, there you go. Now you have complete control over your PC through your PSP. There's some really neat functions on here. You can select the speed of the analog stick or the digital stick for the mouse. You can switch it to a game mode. So if you want to launch a game on your PC, you can actually use your PSP to control it, which is really kind of neat. And it almost works like a wire. It, it actually can work as a wireless controller for your PC, which is really kind of handy. Uh, you can use it to browse the web, Firefox, uh, look at videos, the update's a little slow. Um, anyways, that's how you can control your PC using your PSP. Pox here and, and Raggable. Anywho, <laughs> in closing, uh, you might have seen the news lately. Sony's on top of things, man. Right after they got the downgrader working, they came out with an upgrade to 2.1 and now 2.5. Uh, 2.1 was pretty much just a quick fix to get rid of our ability to downgrade and, and use homebrew, but uh, 2.5 actually has a couple new features in it. Uh, the main thing being the location-free player. And that looks like it's, it could be pretty cool not quite worth um, giving up homebrew just yet. Um, we'll have to see the, the possible uses for this. Um, it's basically for playing video on your PSP from a network device anywhere on the internet, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, it also gives you support for higher security in your wireless settings, uh, WPA, uh, um, Anyways, don't upgrade. <laughs> uh, none of the PSPs are shipping with anything above the 2.0 firmware, so you, if you have 2.0, you're able to, to downgrade to 1.5 right now. Uh, unfortunately, I got an email from somebody who upgraded to the, the 2.1, and right now there's no way of going back. That's uh, the first thing they, they got rid of was your ability to do that when they came out with that patch. Sad. 
anyways, hopefully uh, we'll be we'll, we'll be back soon with episode seven, a whole new theme, no more of the the lame Star Wars titles and jokes. Uh, Raggable should be back. He is kind of sick right now. He wasn't able to make it in person. <laughs> I'm Pox, and this has been PSP Hacking 101, Episode 6, Return to the Homebrew. And we're out. It's in the can. Two Smart Guys production. One last thing. Uh, for those of you that bought the DVD, uh, our good friend here, he, he sent us a clip. Hello, Pox and Raggable and all the PSP Hacking 101 crew. Got the DVD. Thanks a lot. Paul was excellent. And love the design. Paul was wicked. From the UK. Just recently downgraded my PSP to 1.5 and joined all the homebrew enjoyed all your episodes looking forward to buy volume 2 it's Romelius now if anybody else wants a copy of our first DVD go ahead and just donate uh, $10 and we'll go ahead and give us your address we'll ship it right out to you uh, helps us keep our, our show going thank you very much bye <laughs> Hey Raggable, sorry you're not feeling too good this week, maybe better next time. We owe some hellos to our friends outside of the country, especially in France. Hi Francois and Aurelien, and our friends in Colorado rock, so thanks. <laughs>